Hey there, this is Daithia Garns, the Impact Coach. And I just wanted to give you a quick message today to inspire you, but also to warn you. <laughs> I know in my own life, getting to this point right here, where I'm now comfortable with doing what I'm called to do and to being obedient to God about what I'm called to do has been a long time coming for me. A lot of the failures and the struggles and the lessons learned and the many hardships that got me here happened at a time when there was no one, and I do mean no one, there to see them. No family, no friends. It was just me and God. Just me and God, really. And of course, he would send people and situations and circumstances to help me through and to guide me and to make me grow. And honestly, many times we all may have to walk through a lot of things alone in order to be who we are called to be. I think of the many characters from the Bible who had to be comfortable with being alone right even if just for a period of their lives they had to be comfortable with walking alone moses and joseph and especially jesus who must have felt so very alone at times but then once you walk through those moments and god has equipped you and strengthened you and he's built you up and now your light shines so brightly with all of the talents and the gifts and the potential that you possess. Matthew 5, 14 through 16 says, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put, a, put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. And of course, that's the NIV version. But your light is now attracting many people who want to attach themselves to you because it's shining so brightly. And sometimes you may feel a little nudge that says no about some of these people. Maybe you ignored it and you went ahead and you entered into some type of commitment or contract with someone that you originally felt wasn't the best idea for you to do, but you didn't want to feel arrogant or to act like you were better than somebody else. But listen, not everyone who is attracted to your light is attracted to the source of that light. Many of the people that come into your life are not really walking with the one that you're walking with, so you're not equally yoked. And they may pretend that they are because they want what you have. Many who want to connect with you only want, want what you have to offer. They want your information. They want to use your talents, your soft heart, your body. Whatever it is that they believe that they can take from you. And they have no intentions of giving you anything good in return. Trust me when I say that people see your light. They see how you operate. They see how gifted and talented or good you are. And they want to be blessed through you. Maybe these people look good on the outside. And maybe it looks like they can provide you with something that you feel you're missing. But please pray for discernment. Because honestly, what I've learned is that my God is able to provide any platform that he wants me to have. Everything that I've gotten has been through God. I don't need people for that. So don't allow others to pimp you for your talents or your heart or your love. I know it's hard to imagine, but some people honestly are sent from the enemy. And we already know that he only steals, kills, and destroys. If you have encountered someone recently who has tried to steal your ideas, tried to steal information or anything else, or has tried to kill your positive attitude, your good heart, your dreams, or who constantly works to destroy your outlook, your self-esteem, your business, 
your relationships, etc., etc., etc. Please know that you have no reason to fear or to be angry. Realize that maybe you made a, made a bad choice by engaging with these people. Just acknowledge that and move on. Your light will attract the right people and God will show you those people. So depend on him and depend on that fact and keep growing. Keep working to improve yourself and brighten that light so much that the world will see your source and glorify him. There is nothing that God has for you that any hater or devil can take from you unless you give it away. So let your light shine, but please be very picky and choosy about who you allow to stand in that light. I love you guys. Mwah.